Let's talk about managing events in Google Calendar and especially managing personal events for business owners or anyone else who wants to keep something private. Is it ideal to use personal events or appointments in Google Workspace Calendar, but keeping it private only for me? Now, inside Google Calendar, it's pretty straightforward. You'd be familiar with the interface and you've got lots of different options there for keeping yourself organized. You can see here, I've got a number of different events. Some of these are even on different colors. I've even got multiple calendars set up here as well. And so scrolling down on the left-hand side, I can choose between different calendars to be visible or non-visible. For most people, one calendar is enough. And it's pretty straightforward to you know open up an event on your calendar just by dragging and dropping. With that event, I can choose whether I make this public or private and i can do that by going down to visibility down the bottom here and you'll see if i want i can choose to make this event private now what does private mean well private means that anyone who has access to see my calendar which is the default inside google workspace all my colleagues will be able to see my calendar if i choose to make a single event private they'll be able to see all the information on my calendar but this one they'll just see busy it'll just say busy they won't see the information they'll just see busy for that and so those you may choose to make private and that's just simple solution right one calendar simple solution now that can be used by anyone you can even as you can see there set the default for your calendar to put everything as private although if this is a primary work calendar and you're spending most of your time working with your colleagues, you probably don't wanna make that private because especially with remote teams, you wanna be able to let your team know like what you're up to. If you're on lunch, they might know that it's okay to interrupt you with a chat message. If they're trying to schedule a time with you, they might know that you know, you've know you got a standing meeting on Wednesdays, which is, I don't know, when you've carved out some time to do X, Y, Z tasks, but they know that you might be flexible to squeeze in a meeting in that time. You can see here that I've got content creation scheduled for my Thursdays. That pretty much means that the team don't bother me unless it's absolutely urgent whereas on other days i don't mind if they flick me a message you'll want to i guess check in with yourself and your team on what's most appropriate for you but my recommendation is for your calendar events to be shared with the team and then private is literally only for private events now let's take it up a notch if you're a business owner or you're an extra busy person or uh, maybe you have a family and you want to manage events and things happening with a significant other. Well, it might make more sense to use multiple calendars potentially. And the cool thing about Google Calendar is even on my business calendar, I can actually get access to a personal calendar from outside my business if I wish. Now, um, you'll see here that I've got multiple business accounts and one of those is actually a personal domain. Technically, it is a Google Workspace account. So technically, it is a business Google account, but this would work just fine if you were using a Gmail account as well. Now, I've got other videos on the channel on why and when you might choose to use a Google Workspace account for your personal data, or what the pros and cons of that are, because there are some pros and cons of doing that. But in this example, I just want to show you my calendar and how I have things configured. Now, I actually have a personal consulting company outside of IT Genius. I do some coaching with business owners from time to time. I also have other business interests outside of IT Genius. And for that, I have calendar events that I can put outside of my IT Genius calendar. The reason for that is if one day I sell my position in IT Genius and I hand over my email address and my calendar and my accounts and all that kind of thing, I don't necessarily want my other business dealings that are completely separate from IT Genius to be inside that account because it's not really appropriate for the information or the details of those meetings to live inside the IT Genius calendar. So when I go to create an event here on what is effectively my personal calendar or my, my personal business consulting company, I'll create an event here and you'll see automatically it's in a different color. So I can identify immediately which event this is relating to. If it's dark blue, it's IT Genius. If it's light blue, it's something else. I've also got another calendar for personal events. Now this one is purple. If I create an event here, and this is owned by personal consulting uh, business, so it's owned by my personal Google Workspace account, I can choose to put it on my personal calendar and that will show up in purple. Now, these two calendars live under my personal Google Workspace account. If you were using a personal Gmail account, it would work exactly the same. They are owned by this account. And all I do is with each one of these calendars is I share them back to my business account. So you'll see here, this has been shared to peter at itgenius.com. I'll go back and find my personal calendar as well. That one has been shared 
to peter at itgenius.com. What that means is if I go back to my IT Genius login, I can see the two new events that have just been placed on the calendar here, but I can also edit and modify those events. So I've always got access to them. Now, the brilliant thing about this is these show up on my phone so I can see all of my events in one place. And these calendars live like kind of integrated with each other. So they can all see each other and no matter where I am, I can edit the events here. But what this means using this system is that my staff don't see what's on my personal consulting calendar, except for my PA, and nobody sees what's on my personal calendar, the purple one. That's things like my friend's birthdays, if I've got a dinner planned with family. No one really needs to see that kind of stuff. And that's the kind of thing that I want to keep private to myself. Or if I've got an external meeting that doesn't really make sense to be alongside IT Genius data, I'll put it on my blue calendar, which is my personal business calendar. So that way of setting up Google Calendar basically means that I've got all my data owned by me outside of my company. So I can sell that company or I can leave that company. And if you're an employee in somebody else's business, Business, this is probably a smart setup for you to use. It means that your calendar events are yours and you'll never lose access to them even after you've left the company that you're currently working from. Now, the setup is slightly more complicated than using just one calendar. When I create a calendar event, there's that extra drop down that I've got to select and I've got to think about, do I want to put this on my personal calendar or do I want to put this on my business calendar? But the thing that I love about this is that I'm not tied to just one calendar and I don't have to worry about having my personal data exposed to people either inside the business or someone else who gets access to that data one day. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.